Hi kids, Miss Phillips here, third grade, remember me? Seems like we've been out of school for about a hundred weeks from this virus, and you know me, um, to make myself have a good day, chocolate is on my menu. So I thought I'd make us some brownies, and while I'm standing here making brownies, I noticed in the recipe something we learned in third grade. Nope, not three eggs. What do you notice? One quarter and one half. Remember what those are? Those are fractions, and we learned about fractions in third grade. So while we're looking at my recipe here, let me ask you, think about this question. What is the job of the denominator? If you've got a friend, a mom, a dad, a dog, a cat sitting next to you, why don't you turn to them, and I'm gonna give you about three seconds to let them know what the job of the denominator is in a fraction. So here we go, in three, two, one. You got the answer? That's right, the denominator tells us how many total equal parts there are going to be. All right, think back, third grade. What's the job of the numerator? The job of the numerator is, tell that person, cat, dog, mom, dad, sitting next to you what the job of the numerator is in three seconds. And three, two, one. The job of the numerator is to tell them how many parts we are going to count. Well, in my recipe, I need one half cup of oil to put in for my brownies. So I measured it out and I put it in. I'm going to need a quarter cup for my brownies. Now, I don't need a whole cup. This is a fraction. This is only one part. And then I'm gonna put in whole eggs because we don't do half eggs. And I'm gonna mix this up and it's nice and chocolatey. And you know me, I like my chocolate. So while I'm mixing, take a look at my little sign over here. I've got some fractions on my sign. What do you notice about the size of the measuring cup and the number in the denominator? Give you maybe four seconds to think about that one. We've got one half, one third, and one fourth. So what do you notice about those measurements and the denominator, the size of the measuring cup and the denominator? And we'll give it in three, two, one. Tell the person next to you, what do you think it is? If you remember that the larger the number of the denominator, is the smaller the fraction, you would be correct. Do you notice the orange measuring cup is one quarter? And it is smaller than the measuring cup labeled one half. So good job in your observations. Now, my observation is I've got this great brownie mix all stirred up here and I'm gonna put it in my pan and then I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. And when I'm done, I am going to have a batch of brownies and I'm gonna have a math question for you. So, as soon as I'm done, when I come out of the oven, I'm gonna come back and ask you a math question about my pan of brownies. Okay, kids, so we can see that one place we can use a whole lot of fractions is in the kitchen. We use fractions when we cook, so maybe while you're home, you can help mom or dad or grandma bake something in the kitchen and use your fractions. Well, there goes the timer. So. Our brownies must be ready. Boy, don't these look good. And you know I love chocolate. So I am going to invite three of my friends to share this pan of brownies with me. So now here's your math question that you can send me back on Class Dojo. I have one pan of brownies and it's going to be myself and three friends. What fraction of this pan of brownies am I going to get? What fraction will myself and three friends, what fraction will each of us get from this pan of brownies? I want you to think about it. Enjoy your day, and we'll talk to you soon.